All right, welcome back everybody to Operation Mars. This is the common turn, turn seven. There's a build of housekeeping cleanup uh, that was done between the K and T and the Japanese. Um, so that's, I think, has been settled with. Um, and so with that being the case, we will jump straight into the CCP turn. Um, I'm not actually sure if this was in his video real quick, but the German subs did uh, go back to home country over here. That might have been in the video, though, and I just missed it. Anyway, um, so CCP uh, will have one combat move. Um, well, we have two dollars, and we're going to be spending both of those on a militia. Ah, I was putting in the wrong thing. Okay, there. Um, yeah, anyway, CCP is sending, spending both of its dollars on militia. One combat move, and that our cavalry is going to walk into Sikang. Um, and that's it for the combat moves. For non combat moves, we are going to move everything up into Singhai. And we're going to move our mountain infantry from Tibet into Singhai as well. And we will roll our recruitment die, which will succeed on a four or less. And it fails. All right. Uh, so we'll go ahead and place our CCP unit. Uh, that militia is going to go and sing high, and then we'll collect two dollars at the end. So keep two dollars. Um, stop two dollars in the bank. Um, we will now go over to the USSR is in the precarious situation of Germany having both lightning war still available to it as well as still having quite a decent number of blitzers. Um, so, going to be interesting trying to defend against uh, this oncoming onslaught. Something that will help determine how that goes is going to be our income increase rolls. Um, so this is turn 7 and we do get a D12 instead of the D6 that has been the case. So we will um, go ahead and roll that and hope that we get something we can work with. And we get a 5 which is not really that great. Moves us to 18. Does let us do research, though. So we will come down. We'll have our three major factories, as well as our um, propaganda bonus. So we will roll for... Um, this is turn 7, so we will be rolling for improved factories. We'll roll for improved construction. Uh, we're going to roll for advanced mechs. And we are going to roll for advanced artillery. So we get a hit on advanced mechs. Move that to stage one. Miss on artillery. Hit on factories, moving it to stage three. That's nice. Any miss on construction. All right, so that's the tech rolls for us. Um, fortunately, we did not get to 19 in order to declare war. Oh well, we'll uh, do some non combat moves though. So our heavy cruiser and destroyer in A23, we move 1, 2, 3 into A12 as well. And the torpedo boat destroyer is going to move 1, 2 into A14, I think that is. Um, our four infantry in Corellia are, well, we're going to leave one in Corellia. Three of our infantry in Corellia are going to move into Leningrad. Um, oh, I've got to do declare buys. Okay. Um, we are going to limit the CCP and artillery. And we're going to buy two artillery for ourselves. Um, so it's going to be 12 of our dollars, taking us down to 8. 
And then we're going to collect 18, I think it was, at the end of the turn. So we'll leave us with 26 in the bank. All right. So Bucks not combat moves. Um, everything in Oral Kursk is moving into uh, Tula, no, into, I think it was Donetsk that I wanted to move into. Yeah. Um, Oral Kursk is moving into Donetsk, so I can get markers since this is a smaller territory. Our fighter is going to move back to Moscow. Our two infantry in western Ukraine are going to fall back into eastern Ukraine. Um, everything, let's see, the fighter and the attack bomber in Leningrad are going to fly to Moscow. Uh, everything else is going to stay there. So I think that's got that. Um, Our coastal sub is going to stay there. Our Soviet sub in M8, I think he's going to count 1, 2, 3, into M11. We're going to return him to the Black Sea. Um, so I have two up here. All right. Yeah, all those are going to stay there. Um, I think everything else is staying where it's at uh, for this turn at least. We're going to leave these guys here. Um, let's go ahead and do one goal. We have recruitment. Which fails on an eight. Uh, yeah, okay. I think that's honestly it for the USSR. Um, eh, actually. Let me find this Scorched Earth token. We will go ahead and do some of these. Right. So, this rail is scorched. This rail is scorched. These rails are all scorched. 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 Um, scorch that rail. Let's scorch this port. Delete. Scorched. Um, let's scorch here. Go scorch here and here and here and here and here and here. We're going to keep these, actually, for now. We're going to scorch the northern Belarusian one. Um, we'll scorch that one. Um, otherwise, we will go ahead and scorch this one as well. That will take everything uh, into account now. Have all those scorched, and that will be the end of. Uh, I'll just be the end of the USSR turn. It's so already collected money. We'll just place these units to artillery for the USSR being built in. Oh, uh, slight change to this. Two of our motorized infantry that are part of the 74th are uh, 
I'm moving to Moscow. And they're going to have these two. Actually, yeah. yeah. We'll go ahead and put the CCP artillery into Sinkin. Um. Yeah, we're just going to go both in Moscow. Oh, well. Um, and then we are going to rail these two units from eastern Ukraine um, into Orokursk, however. Um, instead of just walking one, we're going to use a T-rail movement for that. And yeah, that's going to be it for the Soviets. Uh, we will pass it over to the veteran for Japan. Turn seven.